السلام علیکم کلاس ہو یو آل آئی ہوپ یو آل آر فائن اینڈ ڈوئنگ گڈ ان رمضان سو دا ٹاپک وچ وی آر گوئنگ ٹو اسٹڈی اسپیس اسپیس اینڈ شیپ آف ڈفرنٹ ٹائپ آف سالڈس اینڈ ٹو ڈی ڈائمینشنس فگر سو دس ٹائم وی آر گوئنگ ٹو اسٹڈی دا والیوم اینڈ دا سرفیس ایریا آف کیوب اینڈ کیوبائڈس سو اٹس می شہباز حسین موونگ آن دا فارمولا فرسٹ آف آل آفٹر گوئنگ ٹو دا کیوب اینڈ کیوبائڈ first we have to study what is the parallel gram and trapezium and these two shapes are simple and uh, apply in the cuboid and the uh, prism like figure so parallel gram is basically the base into height base is simply s- simply straight base attached with the height so in the parallel gram there are two opposite sides which are parallel to each other and the trapezium the formula for the trapezium area of trapezium is sum of parallel sides uh, into height 1 over 2 times sum of parallel sides into height so if you are going to add some the parallel sides and divided by 2 multiply with the height you got the area of the trapezium trapezium is the shape which have only two parallel sides which have only two parallel sides so the parallel gram is uh, the opposite sides are parallel each other opposite sides are parallel to each other this is the parallel gram and the trapezium is in the next slide you can see the parallel gram and the trapezium in the question so moving on question number one first fun class work question is question number one is find the area of the parallel gram so this is the shape of the parallel gram parallel gram is the shape which have opposite sides are parallel so in, you can see that in this parallel gram we have the base is 7 cm and the height is 5 cm and you can see this 6 cm this is the not a straight height this is a slant height so when you uh, when you are going to find the area of the parallel gram you have to multiply the base with the height simply the base with the straight height where you got this square marked in the figure where you got this square marked in the figure then you are going to apply the formula base into height 7 multiplied by 5 which is 30 5 cm square now we are going to find the area of the trapezium so this trapezium is the shape which have only one once only two sides are parallel only two sides are parallel now the parallel side sum of the parallel sides divided by 2 into height or we can also say that 1 over 2 sum of parallel sides into height so parallel sides are 8 cm this side is parallel with the, this and uh, this side 8 cm is parallel to the 4 cm 8 plus 2 is 12 where where to 6 6 5 the 30 so the area of the trapezium is basically the 30 cm square so you can see that you have to memorize the formula simply when you memorize the formula you just apply the formula on the figure and calculate the area and the perimeter of the figure now we going to check what is in the next slide so you have a homework in the next slide you can see that question number 1 is the parallelogram question number 2 is the trapezium so you have to solve this as a homework question for these shapes parallelogram and trapezium parallelogram is again base 12 cm and 8 cm is a height and this is pair sum of parallel side 9 and plus 11 into height is 7 cm 7 cm next moving on question number 3 is a homework you have to find first figure is the rectangle uh, the area is given you have to find this width next is the triangle 1 over 2 into base into height the formula of the triangle base is unknown height is given 7 cm and the area is also given 21 cm so area is equals to 1 over 2 base into height 21 is equals to 1 over 2 b into 7 so you can easily calculate the base in this triangle next is the parallelogram area is a given you have to find the height next is the trapezium area is a given you have to find the parallel side which is d 9 is the first parallel side and d is the second and the last one fifth part of this question is area of circle is given you have to find the diameter first you have to calculate the radius then multiply with 2 you got the diameter next moving on this is the remainder of the formula you have to remind that what is the formula of the rectangle is the length multiplied by width triangle is 1 over 2 base into height parallelogram is simply base into height trapezium is a plus b into h over 2 a plus b means sum of parallel sides divided by 2 into h and the circle is pi r square as you know that circle is pi r square where pi is 3.142207 next moving on now we are going to explore the solids the solids is like you can see that this is a polyhedron solid what is a polyhedron solid polyhedron solid is having some polygon faces polygon faces so in this figure you can see that this is the face this is the edge where this line is lines are 
attached with these polygons is called edges these are the edges and these are the vertex where the corners are in the figure these corners are called vertex when the when the polygons different polygons attach with each other make a 3d shape this shape is called polyhedron shape and the some types of solid is we have polyhedron is the, this is a cuboid which is called prism and the pyramid is also a polyhedron like shape and no not polyhedron like shape is this is a circle circle is not a specific polygon circle is a circle so cylinder is not a polyhedron cone is not a pol polyhedron and the sphere is not a polyhedron now polyhedrons are the shapes which have polygons polygons are the shapes which have some sides the sides enclosed by a uh, figure and the, these figures enclosed enclosed to make a solid or a prism is called polyhedron next moving on to the calculate how to calculate the volume of cuboid so simply the formula is we are going to multiply the three sides in this when we are going to calculate the volume volume are like those figure which have some space which occupies something which occupies some liquid which occupies some gas these kind of figures are called 3d figures and we are going to calculate these figures as a volume of these figures so volume of uh, any kind of cuboid is called height width and length when we multiply three dimensions we got the volume of the cuboids height width or breadth or length so uh, this is the formula is hbl we can also can say that hbl or hwl next moving on for the questions so the questions are first question number one is find the volume of this cuboid so the cuboid is simple three five four next the volume of this cuboid is we just multiply three values with each other we got the volume of 60 centimeter cube now you can see that here it we have centimeter cube but in the 2d figures here as a unit is we are we have centimeter squares so we had a centimeter square so in 2d figures we just multiply two values with each other we got centimeter squares or meter squares when we multiply three values in 3d figures this is called 3d figure which contain which occupy some kind of liquid gas or solid so this kind of figure is called 3d figure and this is called cuboid and the unit of each time 3d figure is in cubes centimeters cubes meter cube feet cube kilometers cube right next question number two is find the height of this cuboid he the, he gave us the volume of this cube which is 280 280 is equals to length width or height we just find the height so we divided 70 with 280 280 divided by 70 we got the height is 4 centimeter now this is the uh, another type of this question volume is given and one dimension is unknown whatever the dimension is unknown you have to multiply three values and equal to the volume and you got the answer of this now uh, for this relation for this type of questions you have a homework question number one and question number two for the volume of cuboid you have to solve these question what is the surface area then the next one is how we can find the surface area of 3d shapes how we can find the surface area of cube or of cuboid surface area is basically when you are going to give a gift to anyone you have to wrap the gift you have to wrap the box so how much the wrapping paper is required to cover this surface area the outer surface of the gift box so this is called the surface area of the cuboid or cube how much wrapping paper is required how much area of the wrapping paper is required to cover this 3d figure this 3d box so this is the simple real life example to understand the surface area what is we call the surface area so question number one is find the surface area of a rectangular prism with the height two centimeters five centimeters is length and width is six centimeter so here we have the 3d prism which is called cuboid five centimeters six centimeter and two centimeter when we open up this box we see that this is like this pattern where we have this one rectangle and two rectangle which are similar this rectangle in the smaller rectangle is the similar and the, this center one the bigger one rectangle and this rectangle is similar so as you see that here we have three types of rectangles and each rectangle have uh, its 
similar rectangle each rectangle have its partner each rectangle have its partner when we calculate the surface area we have to calculate the whole area of this box whole outer area of this box whole area of this shape next moving on step number two step number two is we have to find each face of the area so the left and the right face of the area is six centimeter by two centimeter that is this becomes 12 centimeter front and back of the surface areas of the figure as you can see that in this figure this is a upper one and the lower one which is 5 cm into 6 cm this is the right one and the left one which is 6 cm into 2 cm and this is the front one and the back one which is 5 cm into 2 cm so these are the measurements we have to calculate and we multiply twice to got the surface area of this figure so left and right faces are 6 and 2 front and back faces are 5 and 2 and top and bottom faces are 6 and 5 so these are the values of the faces 12 10 and 30 now we step number 3 we have, have to add on these all values and two times of each value 12 the front the left and right faces there are two faces so the we are multiply with 2 and the upper and lower we are also multiply with 2 and the front and we also multiply with 2 so the total surface area of this cubite is 104 cm square on the formula the summarized formula of this surface area is two times length into width width into height and length into height this is the simple formula of the surface area of cubite next again the question is find the surface area of this cubite now you can see that this is the front face which have the measurement is 10 and 4 this is if we can calculate this area this is 40 cm square and here we have two faces front face and back face 40 plus 40 80 next this is 40 cm square this is 80 cm now right and the left right and the left right one is the purple one 5 cm with the 4 cm which becomes 20 cm 20 cm multiply with 2 which we got 40 cm square this is the simple approach to calculate the surface area of cuboid next upper and the lower upper one is 5 into 10 which is 50 cm 15 to 2 which is 100 centimeter next when we add all these value we got the surface area of cubite which is 220 centimeter square these are the homework questions of the surface area of the cubite you have to solve by seeing by by with the help of the previous classwork questions now you have to solve these all questions on the notebook and give the response this is the over overview of the cube uh, volume of cube and the surface area of the cube and cuboid Thanks for watching. Take care. Allah Hafiz.